So for the people who don't know, who is Krampus? What is this legend? <laughs> uh, essentially, he's the dark Santa Claus. That's the easiest way to sum it up. But in some myths, he actually predates Christmas and Santa Claus, so it's hard to, hard to tell exactly. Sometimes he helps out Santa Claus too. Yeah. In some yeah. myths, he's he's doing he's filling the stockings and putting down presents. And what about this story made you guys want to turn it into a movie? I kind of felt like there was like a, a a missing good kind of fairy tale horror Christmas story that was a little scary because I mean Mike had always talked about how Christmas is actually kind of scary, you know, and and we. You know. the, the original, I mean, A Christmas Carol is terrifying. If you think about it, it's really a Victorian gothic ghost story. And then you have a, It's a Wonderful Life, which is a more contemporary, similar kind of tale. So we wanted to sort of carry the torch and make one even more current. How was it juggling the tone between the humor and the horror? I, I feel like a lot of it was helped by the cast that we got. You know, because the script started out with some funny pieces just because the characters were so rich for for comedy but with you know the with the cast that we got it was kind of inevitable that they would mess around on set and, and add things and add more comedy flavor to it. I think fun and scares go hand in hand. To me they're two sides of the same coin. And why was it so important for you to have the real creatures on set in the world of green screen nowadays? <laughs> uh, I really love practical creatures. Um, puppets and guys in suits and we have, you know, it's a hybrid approach, so it's mostly practical, but we do have a lot of digital effects in there, too. Do you think it also gives something more for your actors to work with? Yeah, definitely. So they're reacting to an actual creature, not just a ping pong ball and a stick 